This is Jack Burton in the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. Like I told my last wife, I says, Honey, I never drive faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. Okay, guys, sorry for the delay, but this update is going to be short and easy, even though I know you guys like things long and hard. We're visiting the town of Lancel once again because Ryan Leaf has been chosen to be the lucky contestant on a brand new survival of the fittest style game show called Balls to the Wall! After the callback auditions last July, we were informed of our selection and we have been training long and hard ever since. After eight grueling weeks of viciously slaughtering wave after wave of slow walking thugs equipped with whipple bats, we are confident that we will be prepared for anything. Ryan Leaf bravely volunteers to venture alone into the navel of the earth. He'll strike down foes, he'll explore uncharted regions, he'll take a five minute snack break and then search for priceless ancient artifacts. Kel Courage. Make sure you equip yourself with some fancy ass equipment because this dungeon is definitely long and hard. Huh? Okay, so my friend just handed me this popsicle with a really bad joke on it. It says, what's everyone doing at the same time but at different rates? And the answer is fucking growing older. How does that make sense at all? Like, doesn't isn't time constant for everyone unless, like, we're, you know, moving at light speed? Oh, I get it. Dick speed. oh yeah. Okay, so I just got my bitch ass tricked by this little trap thing over here, but who cares? Because basically what you want to do is get to A. Why the hell am I using the pencil tool? It's like the most worthless one. Okay, so you're going to want to get this treasure chest because it has an intelligence seed in it, which is useful. This one's just got some shitty gold in it, but don't mess with these motherfuckers because they've got mimics in them. And they cast a defeat spell, which normally wouldn't be so bad if, you know, you had a party of four, but since there's only one of you, it's an instant game over if anything hits you. Balls! When you reach the top of the stairs at A, you'll find a room that has pretty much nothing in it, except for some more stairs and some letters that, when read backwards, spell Backs. From A, you're going to want to visit C first. It's got a room with a treasure chest in it that contains the armor of terra firma. It's full body, so it's long, and it's also titanium alloy, so it's hard. Then you'll want to go to D. When you get to D, you'll see a room that looks like this. Take the top path, go down here past these dudes with the togas, and then take the treasure chest, and you're home free. Prepare yourself for this next hallway which we are about to traverse, for legend and lore testifies to its unequaled length and difficulty. The masks on the wall will try to confuse you with fallacy and trickery, but we have a few tricks up our phallus. Shit, see, this one almost tricked my bitch ass, but I am too smart for him. I will not turn back because that is what he expects me to do. When you finally reach the treasure chest, the reward is disappointing. And we worked so long and hard to get it. It's not like I didn't have any blue balls already. Whatever, use the outside spell to GTFO. Oh well, time for another break to visit an old friend of ours. Let's see what kind of progress LL Cool J has made on his town of New West Virginia. Apparently, Ryan Leaf and company had something to do with the creation of shops in this area. Man, I love getting credit for shit I didn't do. It's just like all of my research papers in high school. I worked pretty long and hard. If you're looking for either a new hat or for some generic pharmaceuticals, you've come to the right place. I find it somewhat strange that the store owner stocks his inventory under that bed right there. But you know what? LL Cool J can have like the shittiest inventory in the world for all I care, as long as I don't have to put up with this asshole again. Then again, I've definitely seen dumber shopkeepers. I mean, let's take Pinball Quest for example. The shopkeeper gives you the option of stealing his things. Let's give it a shot. There's some mean looking eyes in the background, or maybe there's golden leaves or something. Then some explosion noises, cause you know, we got guns or something and we got our asses kicked. Oh well. But probably the savviest customer I've ever met is Danny fucking Sullivan from Danny fucking Sullivan's Indie Heat. 
There's an option called Danny's Choice, where pretty much the computer picks the best stuff for you. But look what this asshole gets me. $90,000 worth of turbos? Oh yeah, I'm prepared to race. Lando fucking Calrissian doesn't even have his helmet on. Well, whatever. The green orb is much less of a pain in the ass. All you need to do is sail to the village of Tadanki at night and ask some dude to give it to you. Literally. No bosses. Not much of a prison guard. Just a door. Success! Ta-da! That wasn't so long and hard now, was it? Now we have the blue and the green orb. There are four left, so buckle up for more of the same shit next video. Time for some fucking cookies.